Hey guys, it's me. So as you can see, I'm in my bathroom. So today I'm gonna be doing a little updated skincare routine. I haven't done one in a minute. Again, I'm sorry for the camera. I still don't have my camera back. I'm using my iPhone. So this is not gonna be too long of a video. I'm just gonna get straight into the point. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know I have not posted in a while, but I feel like you guys, I don't know. I just feel like my views, I think it's because you guys are not used to me posting so consistently on YouTube. So I'm gonna start trying to post more consistently. Let's just get into the videos. So the first step I'm gonna be doing is using my CVS Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to dry skin. This is what it looks like. I got it at my local CVS. It says it gently cleanses and helps restore moisture. I have my phone on my ring light type of thing hopefully when i turn this faucet on it does not make my phone fall into the water because that would just be so bad <laughs> I use my nails to kind of scratch a little bit, not too rough. I don't need all the skincare gurus coming for me saying that I'm not doing my skincare right because y'all already try to come for me when I use like a, um, the apricot scrub, but that works well for me. My mom uses it too. It works well for her. Yeah, but I don't use that as much anymore. So. And then you gotta get the forehead, scrub, scrub, scrub. I feel like the forehead is the dirtiest because you can already see, look, that's nasty, some dirt. I feel like the forehead, well, my forehead's the dirtiest because I wear my scarf and my bonnet and that's constantly kind of like on your forehead. So I just feel like bacteria builds up. So we're just gonna scrub, scrub, scrub. And then, oh, got in my hair a little bit and then I'm gonna rinse it off. Um, maybe I should get my rag. Hold on. So, I got a little air dry. I've been wanting to try this Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask, but it's like, I kind of don't want to use something new. It's literally been sitting in my room, full bathroom, for the last four months. I don't know if I should use it, but I have this. It's a mask that I got when I went to Brick Williams and they gave me a facial. This smells really good. I might use this one because this has been on my face before. So I don't feel like trying anything new. And this is an exfoliator, I think. Yeah, an exfoliant. So we're gonna go in with the exfoliant to get all that dead skin off. I'm gonna use this one next time and um, see how that works out for me. I'm just gonna take a little bit, this much, here, here, here. Oh, let me dampen my hands a little bit. And get put that skin on. They use this on me when I went to Burke Williams, like I said. So I'm kind of just using stuff that I'm familiar with, that my skin agrees with. If I'm doing it not too rough, it might look like I'm doing it rough on the camera but I don't want to scratch my skin. So I'm doing it pretty soft. Get any dead loose skin off of my face. Let me know what your favorite skincare routine, well, who skincare products are and what your skincare routine is. Especially if you have dry skin like me. Um, sometimes I'm a little bit oily like here and a little bit on my forehead, but the rest is dry. So if you guys like use anything, that you think would work for me, let me know in the comments. And you go and wipe it off. You gotta make sure you get it good because it has like the little particles in it. Now I'm gonna go in with this mask. It says, let's see what it says, directions. Mix a small amount of product on your hand with a few drops of water and apply each 
evenly on the entire face. The neck can be treated too. I'm not doing my neck right now. Um, allow to dry for five to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly. Okay, so it says, small amount of product in your hand with a few drops of water. So this is very like slimy. Look at it, y'all. Oh my gosh, it feels weird. But I like it, it feels like, like slime. So I added a few drops of water. Put it on my skin. It smells like a cleaning product to me, like um, not pine cleaner, but something like in that realm, which I like that smell. So that's not a problem. But it just smells like very clean. So we're gonna spread this evenly onto the skin. We're gonna let this sit for five, five minutes, not ten, five. And then I'm gonna come back when this kind of dries some more. Okay, y'all, so it's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. So usually after I will go in with the um with like a face mask. I have one of these. I have a couple, but I don't feel like doing that right now. I gotta go to CVS and stuff. And what I'm about to use is like very moisturizing, so I don't need this. Plus, I scrub my skin and everything, I don't wanna do too much but I would usually go in with a face mask. Now I'm gonna go in with this brightening pad. This is the brand. Um, no, I'm not sponsored. No, um, nobody paid me to use these products. I just like using them. And I like these because they help brighten my skin as well. So yeah, and this is like kind of just cleaning everything off. May have used. And just get it on your forehead. As you can see, there's still like a little bit of dirt. So I like to use like a toner or something that's going to help clean the area. I let it dry. I can't stand when I put like a toner on and then I don't let it dry. And then we'll just put a cream on right after. Like, I gotta let it dry a little bit. So, we're gonna let it dry, let it dry. As you can see, my skin is looking very clear, very glowy. Y'all keep asking about this. I fell off of a scooter. It is not a birthmark. We're gonna go on with the, what is it, Cetaphil Deep Hydration. I got this from CVS. I love how this feels on my skin. I just started using it, actually. And like I said, I have a really dry skin. So I like to lock that moisture in. And that's pretty much it, y'all, with my skincare routine. Um, I don't do all those steps every night. I usually just use my cleanser every day or every other day um, when I wash my face with and then toner and then the moisturizer. That's pretty much it. I don't like to do too much to my skin. Um, I like to just keep it very simple. And I'm putting on my favorite YSL perfume. YSL sent me four perfumes. These two, they're all good, but these two here are my favorite. So I use this at night. It's like a very clean, refreshing smell. And the other one during the day, cause it lasts so long. So there's that. But anyways, if you guys want me to upload more videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I've been missing y'all so much. I am going to upload some. I want to do a makeup tutorial because I changed my routine. I don't have like the camp proper camera. I don't know if I want to do my makeup routine on my phone. But what I have been doing, um, if you follow me on Instagram, at Scott Jackson, I um, have like subscriptions. So... If you subscribe to me on my story, sometimes I post exclusive content to like either my makeup tutorials, skincare, um, and other stuff I might not post on YouTube, I might not post on my regular Instagram story. And I make group chats with y'all so I can talk to y'all. So if you want to do that, it's always in my Instagram story. Just push subscribe. And then um, your girl is cleaning out her closet. 
um, instead of just giving it to Goodwill and them going to sell my clothes, I just sell it myself on my Poshmark. My username is Skyjack. This is, I'll put a screenshot of it right here. So if you guys want to buy some of my clothes, again, you don't have to if you don't want to. So you can keep on with the negative comments. Um, but I might as well just sell them and someone else making money off of my clothes. Like that just doesn't make sense. And I price everything very affordable. Things are like $15, $20, maybe like $45 at most. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.